All right, so I'll catch up to you in a second. Hey, YouTubers and YouTubers and Uncharted fans. Yes, it is I, Connor Arm CEO, bringing in a brand new episode called Connor Arm CEO's Favorite Video Games. And the first episode I would like to talk about today is the remastered Uncharted trilogy. Now, to be honest, I played the first one before back when I used to have a PlayStation 3, but unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to finish it. Or was it on the PlayStation 2? Oh, it has been a long time. So, uh, it was, um, I would say around uh, November, September 2015, where I first saw this being remastered for the PlayStation 4, and it was priced down to £35, and then around the time when I had the money, it was gone. So it priced up to £40 at the time, or in your, or wherever else, $40, €40 Euro for 40 sterling or whatever. Um, I decided, you know what, I've waited too long. So I decided to get this, and for three days and three nights, I played and finished it. Yes, there were a lot of confusions, there was a lot of frustration, there was a lot of things you forgot that was there. Like for one, I played the entire first one and I officially finished it, which I thought I never would. Uh, there, but the problem was, there was no treasure. Because I know when you play the game, there's treasure. And I didn't find any. But without fail in Uncharted 2 and 3, I remembered where all the treasure was. And I remember all the bits and pieces that I had to do. At first when I started playing it, it was like, okay, what do I need to do again? Until soon enough as I looked at it, it kicked into me and I've done it. And then after playing the first one, I thought it was just a lot of foot soldiers and apparently throughout all of it, there's been a lot of supernatural uh, henchmen. Like say in the first one, they look like a bunch of golems. Golems, distant cousin from another galaxy, another time, another earth. Like uh, the uh, Earth 2's Middle Earth, only but more modern and modern clothing. And they do look like a bunch of uh, humanoid golems to be honest. And they were kind of freaky at first, but to be honest, I rather I prefer the Uncharted 2 Scarecrows, where they were uh, drinking the the act from the Earth's tree, which is uh, from the resin, which is, when it's uh, you know hardened. And then after remembering the Nazis that was uh, dead in the expedition, where Schaefer killed them, uh, he had a box which you can place chewing gum or chewing tobacco in, or like keepsakes, and I realized. Maybe that's why that happened because probably one of them grabbed the bra uh, grabbed the resin, put some of it in, and he thought, "Oh, this might be worth something, or this might be something." So he gave it a try, and then from out of nowhere, he decided to go crazy and try to kill everybody. And then that's why the rest of them got infected because uh, that he was holding out on everybody. And Schaefer was the wisest one to put a stop to it because he knew if the the resin came through uh, to the surface. Who knows what would have happened? And then I played the third, uh, the, uh, the third one. And to be honest, I like the third one because it has a lot more action in it. But that's why I say uh, Uncharted two and three are my favorite. And um, I have to say, the villains in it, I was uh, I don't remember the names of the villains from the first uh, Uncharted video game, but I remember um, uh, La Lazarevich. And uh, he was a cool, interesting character. He reminded me, he was like a, um, a next generation Stone Cold Steve Austin. Cause he, cause, not because he was bald and no, he didn't have a beard. He just, um, he just, he just looked like, uh, this is what Stone Cold Steve Austin's uh, relative would look like. But uh, he, his character was uh, very, very badass, but he was a badass for the bad guys. And then uh, I like Sully, I love Chloe, and, um, Oh, who do you call the blonde? Um, Caroline? Isn't it? No. Oh, I sure they have the cast list in the back of the cover. Duh. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I I didn't expect to be the first uh, for the first Uncharted game to be extremely uh, short. Like uh, like I've done with the, like I've played uh, the Force Unleashed one and two. The first one wasn't that short, but the second one was. But uh, with the first Uncharted, I remembered bits and pieces, and I remembered where the traps were. And I'm like, okay, I remember this spot. This is where the traps are. So I started taking out my gun and started shooting at. And I'm like, okay, those traps are supposed to be for the bad guys when they try to come and get you. 
And uh, to be honest, when it comes to weapons, I usually go for the heavy artillery, like a 44 mag, which is wise because it only carries six rounds and you don't have enough to reload. And then there's the Desert Eagle, and then there's a 44 Magnum with the laser sight and scope. And there's the shotgun, and there's the grenade launcher, and there's the sniper rifle, and there was one called the Parstool or the uh, Patriot, where it's basically a miniature, miniature, miniature sized uh, shotgun, but it's shit, but it's sized of a handgun. And it shoots out two bullets, and if you press it twice, it does shoot twice, which is uh, good. And I forgot how difficult it was in Uncharted 3, where uh, you drank uh, the water, which has uh, been possessed by the by a superstition known as the Jinn, which is an, uh, a, a, an urn of brass. Uh, he, they start, uh, 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 Nathan, uh, Nathan Drake, uh, well, Drake, started hallucinating, and he started seeing people become a knockoffs of the Ghost Rider, and obviously he had to shoot them in the head, like, not once, but twice. But it's even faster when you shoot them with a grenade launcher. But those particular characters were my favorite in Uncharted 3. And the spiders, every time when it comes to that level, it's like, Oh, I know what's coming, I know what's coming, it's them again. Uh, but uh, I admired what they'd done with the third one. They showed, like they always do on trilogies, they show things that uh, you didn't expect to see. And um, and, I, and I do love Uncharted very much. As you can see, I bought the game. And as you can hear, the music. And if I can show you right now, is this. It's a tattoo of, uh, an, uh, of, an, of a knife with a uh, ribbon wrapped around it, and it has Sir Francis Drake's motto. And I, this is one of my most favorite tattoos, which I keep close to myself. And if you can see, there's an extra R in there, which there wasn't meant to be, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's actually my favorite tattoo, and and it's actually given me, uh, given me good inspiration to start my greatness from small beginnings. That's why I'm trying my absolute best with this YouTube channel and all my videos. And there will be a short film coming up, but it's just taking a wee bit of time, which I will be starting shooting tomorrow. Because as I said on my, uh, my Facebook page and my Twitter page, I'm in the middle of producting. But the problem was, I forgot to create the image of my, uh, of, uh, my other character. Which I will be playing. I will be playing as myself, and I will be playing as my uh, YouTuber character's roommate. But that that that's all you're getting, and you, and I will be announcing the the YouTuber that my character has a crush on. And uh, as soon as it comes up, you'll see the title, you'll see the picture, and I hope my first short film it does make a good head because that's my goal is not only to uh, make uh, make up to a hundred subscribers which I'm up to 13 now so that's like 87 more to go for my hundredth goal and I've been and a lot of people have been asking me am I doing my reactions again as I said in my last video and um, well that is my uh, brand new episode of uh, well sorry my well yeah for my favorite PlayStation games and uh, next week and the next time well I wouldn't say next week I would say the next time my next video will be about my other PlayStation 4 games or the games I played in the past so if you want to ask me a question involving PlayStation games have I played it have I thought about playing it or am I gonna play it or if you want to suggest it to me please leave it in my, the comments below and uh, if you like this video like it and if you want to subscribe subscribe so thank you for listening to all my videos from the very beginning from Shane Dawson my favorite book all the way from this so thank you very much for watching my videos so far and for those who have subscribed to me thank you very much and those who like my videos thank you very much and all the comments and all your honesty thank you all very much so enjoy comment and subscribe